Hello, this is Matt. Just giving a quick update on my penny sorting, copper hoarding, as you can tell. For the last two nights, and anytime I get some time, I start going through these pennies. So I just want to show you my setup, and I have a good spot to take a break. So I'm sorting through a hundred dollars face, all already sorted copper. So I bought it. So I have a hundred dollars face value of pennies. So ten thousand pennies. I'm sorting, putting them in years, sorting them into bigger bags, and I'm really looking for older pennies, or pennies that will help me complete a book. So I know the ones I need. I just found a 1921. So again, not in great condition, but I knew that I needed to find a 1921. So just by chance, I had a void, and that's why I'm stopping to do this video. But I'm gonna actually grab the camera and show you my setup here real quick. So this is a victory. All this sorting to find, I've, this is my second one out of the first $100. I found a 1926 and a 1921. And the rest are some good ones, but I'll show you my setup. So we sort, we start with that. And I rig this up so I put it by year and once these stacks grow I do throw it into a you know a bag and each bag I have right now it says like this is 1972 once those get full I'm reusing some uh, of our kids you know old tails and uh, you know dumping them in there then I'll roll them at Sunday this is something interesting I found a couple years ago. If you want to make cupcakes of Ike dollars, it's kind of interesting. I don't know, we were playing with these earlier. And then here is, I found, you know, the 60s are lighter. The 70s, I don't even bother putting them in here. I just put them straight in the bags. But the 60s are lighter, so I'm doing that. And then I'm rolling them as I go. And there's my tripod, as you can tell. All right, so this is me sorting through pennies. Again, I found a good one, so I'm giving myself a quick break for a 1922 or 21, landing it in the book. And now we get back to work. Talk to y'all later.